Hey, everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. If you've upgraded to iOS 18, you might have noticed some cool new customization options, but also some bugs and things that feel less smooth. Today, I'll focus on the control center. While some like the changes, many have complained about how confusing and inconvenient it feels. In this video, I'll show you how to edit the control center to make it work better for you. Share a few tips to improve your experience. And if iOS 18 is just too frustrating, you can downgrade back to iOS 17 if you prefer that. Let's jump into it. First, let's talk about how to actually customize the control center. It's a little different than before, but it's super easy once you know the steps. Just long press on any blank spot in the control center or tap the plus icon on the upper left and you'll see the option to add or remove controls. There are a few pages of features to choose from, so you can scroll through and add the ones you use the most. Personally, I recommend adding screen recording and the new vehicle motion cues. It will be helpful if you travel a lot or get motion sickness easily, or you can customize it however you like based on your needs. Now, let's talk about some of the things that aren't so great. One of the biggest complaints I've seen online is about the layout. While the design looks nice, it makes what used to be quick shortcuts a bit harder to access, and it messes with your muscle memory. For example, turning cellular data on or off used to take just two steps, but now there's an extra step. You have to open a folder, and the cellular data icon isn't as easy to spot as it was in iOS 17, which is super inconvenient. Another annoyance is if you're on the last page of the control center, the next time you open it, you'll have to manually scroll back to the first page. It doesn't automatically reset, which can get frustrating if you're trying to quickly access your controls. And let's not forget the bugs. Some people are reporting that when they try to add a control, their screen goes black with a loading symbol, and then it kicks them back to the lock screen. Others are seeing issues when they place the phone horizontally, icons might get jumbled up or even disappear entirely but I've got some tips to help make all these things a little easier. Part 3. How to make the control center easier to use. One trick is that when you pull down the control center, you can hold your finger on the screen to scroll through the pages more smoothly. It's a small thing, but it helps when switching between different control center pages without needing to swipe multiple times. If you're really missing the old control center layout, you can create a copy like iOS 17. Just add separate airplane mode, cellular data, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi buttons to the control center. But we can see that there is no individual Wi-Fi icon we can use, and we can't customize the connectivity folder. So here's a cool hack. You can create a Wi-Fi shortcut using the Shortcuts app. Just open the app, hit the plus sign, and search for Wi-Fi. Choose the Set Wi-Fi option and change the turn text here. Set the name and icon and add it to your control center. It's not exactly like the old Wi-Fi toggle, but it's a pretty good workaround for now. Then, you can create a custom shortcut to turn Wi-Fi on and off. Then, you can create a custom shortcut on the control center to turn Wi-Fi on and off. I'll drop a link in the description and comments with the shortcut link if you want to try it out. Then place the added feature on top to make it the way it did on iOS 17. You can now easily use it just like in the old days. If you're dealing with a few more bugs, the easiest thing to do is force restart your phone. Just click volume up button and volume down, then long press the power button until the Apple logo Apple. It's a simple fix, but keep in mind that many of these bugs won't go away until Apple releases updates to fix them. Some tech websites revealed that iOS 18.1 Beta 4 might include a redesign of the control center. If you've had enough of iOS 18's issues and miss the old iOS 17, you can always downgrade to iOS 17. That way, you'll get back the familiar control center, the old Photos app layout, and most importantly, you'll avoid the bugs in iOS 18. If you're interested in downgrading, check out the video card for a step-by-step -step guide 
on how to use Rayboot to downgrade back to iOS 17 without losing any data. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with iOS 18. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.